right, so we are doing the four letter word value study project. And I'm going to demonstrate how you set your paper up. You're going to need your 9 by 12 piece of drawing paper, um, a drawing pencil, or I'm sorry, just a regular number two pencil, shading pencil, and a ruler. And eventually you'll need some scissors and possibly a piece of tape. But you can just line it up. All right, so I'm just going to get my tape ready for later. Stay. All right, so the first step, we are going to create a 2-inch by 2-inch grid on our paper. And what I mean by 2-inch by 2-inch grid is I'm going to draw um, like graph paper. So it's basically just going to be graph paper. So I'm going to take my ruler, make sure I'm on my inches side. The inches are you know, more spread apart. I need to get my document camera a little higher, guys, so give me just a second to raise the root, raise this. I know I said raise the root, I don't know why. There we go. So, I am measuring at every two inch intervals. So if you count by twos, two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? Yep, I knew that was coming. So I'm going to go over and make them a little darker, but at every two inch intervals, I'm drawing little tick marks. So do that first. Come on around, check. Um, no, I just passed up. So Sarah, this is an alternative to the valued object because some people, this one is a little easier. Was it, um, was it a dollar? No. No, this isn't a dolly. So this is in place of? The picture? Yes. Or you can keep working on that. Oh, I took a picture of the picture. Got it? Got it? So guys, this is instead of the valued object project. If you are happy with how this is going, keep just keep going. What I'm showing now is an alternative to the valued object project. Okay. So now I'm going to draw these lines all the way through. I'm basically just making two inch by two inch graph paper. And I am videotaping this, so you can go back and look at it later. It's going to be a really long demonstration, though. I wish I could time lapse on the computer. All right, so that might be hard to see, but I basically just, wherever the tick marks were, I drew lines going all the way across. Yeah, see, I don't know if I have time for all that. I know how to do it on, I know how to do it. Oh, 
Um, I don't know. Uh, we'll end up with a. Uh, we'll end up with a four box by four box grid, but don't go. Don't do it that way. Uh, all right. So now we're going to go the other way across. Um, uh, my paper is horizontal, and now I want to measure two inches on this line. So at every two inch interval, I'm going to put a tick mark. Two, four, six, eight, ten, and then twelve, it'll be off the page. Um, so Colby, this paper is about the size of the sketchbook paper, yes. Um, Nick, you don't have the 9 by 12 paper in your portfolio. You may have, you may be the person who got Miss Thomas's portfolio by accident. So you can just use a piece of copy paper, Nick, or you can use um, your sketchbook paper. And yes, this is all due Friday. All right, so I just drew those tick mark tick marks again on this side. Again, we're just making it like homemade graph paper. We're drawing a grid. So now I'm going to turn my paper and trace these tick marks through so that I have like a checkerboard or grid paper. Graphing paper. That's two inches by two inches. How's it going? Good. All right, so you guys should have your two inch by two inch grid paper. Alright, so now here comes some uh, tricky stuff. To set the paper up correctly, we're going to have to do um, a little cutting. So get your scissors. And if you have access to tape, that would help you. If you don't, I mean, you'll be okay. You'll just have to line it up on a flat surface. But I'm going to pass all my students a couple pieces of tape. Just scotch tape, masking tape, whatever you have. Alright, so 
the final product is going to be like this but we need some guides to help us so we'll eventually cut off our words all right so first things first this little half a column we're just going to cut that off and that's going to be trash so cut off your half a column that's trash we don't need that Bye bye. You're gone. I have not taken attendance, guys, so do not disappear. Yep. Alright, so now you are going to cut off one of your uh, four box columns. But this is not trash. Save this. So you're cutting off four boxes. Save that. Okay, so we are going to turn our paper and I am going to tape so that I've created uh, this kind of where the four squares that I cut off are attached on the left hand side. But there's like an empty box at the top. So once you have that situated correctly, tape it on the back. This isn't going to be permanently on here, we'll end up taking it off later. But So now I have something like this. Do you see that shape? So go ahead and tape it on. Yeah. 
we're eventually going to take that piece off so it doesn't have to be perfect. It's just to help us um, mentally prepare. Okay guys, so once you have your page set up, your paper set up, you see that it's almost a, a perfect 5x5 five five cube, not a cube, square, except that it's missing the top left hand corner. That's fine. Alright, so the project is called the four words um, or four letters shading project because you are going to pick two four letter words that are school appropriate and you are going to thoughtfully draw them out and overlap them in the the grid and I'm going to show you how to do that but um, and then you'll go in and shade the new shapes that you created so here's the one I started with my last class my first four letter word is hope my other four letter word going down is rose um, one of my students, he chose the word ball and chips. So it's up to you. What are some good, what are some four letter words you think you could use? Hmm. All right, I'm going to go deep. I'm going to go life. Life is going to be my first word. So whenever you go to... Uh, draw your words, so I'm just going to write them. Life. And then what's another four letter word that I like? That's five. I got one though, blue. One, two, three, yep, that's four. I had to count, it's okay. So my two words I'm going to use are life and blue. You are going to write these words in simple, like, stick letter style and in all caps. I'm going to start by writing life one letter each in these boxes. I'm going to fill that whole space. My L is going to go all, it's going to touch the sides. It's going to go all the way up to the top and all the way to the bottom, or all the way to the side. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit now. So there's my L for life. And then my I. Hmm. I'm going to go all the way across. And you can use a ruler if you want to make it snazzy and perfect. If you have curvy letters, it's going to be a little different, but that's fine. Would anyone like to share their words that they chose? Alright, L-I. Ooh, leaf and pool. I like it. Tree. Nice. And then my F. Notice how I'm like going almost to the top. All right, this is it's too hard to use this ruler in this small space that I have. But there's my F. I can't decide if I want to go all the way across. I think I do. And then my E. Alright, can you see that that says life, but it's just like really big in the box, L-I-F-E, no, I don't want to go all the way across with my F, on that one, okay, so now going down, I'm going to write the word blue, because that's my other word, 
B, like the color blue B. And I'm going to try to fill up the box as best as I can. B L. So see how I brought the curves of the B? Oh, yeah. To fill up that entire box. My L. If you have a straight letter, using a ruler is probably better, but um, for time's sake, I'm skipping that. U and E. So there are my two words. So you're going to treat this kind of like, remember those old school multiplication charts? Where you like this times this equals this. You're going to do that for each of your letters. You're going to combine your letters. You're going to overlap them. And then you're going to kind of rotate them as you go. Yes. You don't have to have a background. All right, so for my first one, I'm going to have a, the B and the L. I'm going to draw the B first. And then I think I'm going to rotate the L. It's up to you how you uh, rotate the boxes. But the trick is in each box you have to combine those two letters. So now I'm going to have the B and the I. I'm going to rotate my B this time. See how I just put the B there? And then now I want to put the eye. I'll do the eye upright. Hmm. And then I have the B and the F. So I'm going to do the B upside down for this one. And then the F, I'll make the F going this way. And then finally the B and the E. some patterns by just overlapping these two letters. B and the L, B and the I, B and the F, B and the E. Yep. Line, L-I-N-E, um,
All right, so let me take attendance before I dismiss everyone for lunch. here, Diamond's here, Nick B is here, Joe's here, Skyler, Tremari is here, Max D is here, Madison is here, Autumn's here, Braylon's here, um, Colby, I'll do that next, I'm taking attendance really quick, Bianca's here, Noah's here, uh, Emma is here, Alexis is here, Savannah is here. Anna's here. Oh, Savannah National Art Honor Society, if you are interested in applying for that, we're having a virtual meeting tomorrow at 4.30. Tehran is absent. Tehran. Um, Hunter is here. Paulina is here. Nick he is here. Ethan's here. Anthony. Anthony. I don't see Anthony. Anthony is absent. Aaliyah is here. Turner. Turner, Turner, Turner is here. Krishan is absent. No Krishan. Caitlin's here. Sarah's here. Um, Kelsey. No Kelsey and Tanner's here. All right, so absent I have Derek. You're not here, are you? No Derek, Tehran, Anthony, Krishan, Kelsey. Okay. All right, guys. So what you have done here is created a bunch of different shapes for shading. Um, if you look at my example that's already kind of done, I just did the first two letters you are going to be shading in the shapes you made. It's going to be kind of abstract looking um, using your pencil, your shading pencil. And I need you, just like in the other project we were doing, you need to show me um, six different values, including white. So there needs to be the super, super dark black, the not quite as dark, mid-tones, like three and two, really, really light, and then white. So you are just going to randomly select which pieces to color um, the different shades. But each little box needs to have the full range of values that we discussed. All right, my class, you're dismissed for lunch. Guys online, I want to demonstrate the shading before you go. I think it's easiest to do your dark um, boxes first, your darkest shade. And remember, you're kind of using your value um, study, the first one we did, to kind of help you match. So I'll be looking at mine while I shade. So we're not going to color these two rows, we're just going to color the ones that we created. So I'm going to do this shape right here that I made first with a really dark value. Then I'm going to go a little lighter and do, um, are you, let me see, what's your question? 
Are you allowed to use the same one again in the same square? Oh yes, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. You can use the same one again. So I'll have a few that are. Well, this box doesn't. This box doesn't have as many shapes as some others, but. So there's like my five value, like my darkest, right? And then now I want to get something a little, just a little lighter, my four value. So I'm going to do that here. Say it again. Oh. Did someone say something? Nope. Okay. I thought I heard somebody. So here I'm going to do my four value, which is a little darker. Hey, can, can I give somebody a dollar to get me fries? I am so hungry. Yes. All right, and then Thank you. And then um, my three is going to be a little bit lighter. I'm going to do my three right here and right here. And then my, I'll do my two right here okay. two right here and then so now I've done all of them I've got a section that's a five darkness. I've got a section that's a four, a three, a two, a one, and I have a white. So now I'm just going to repeat the ones I already did. Um, so I'm going to do another black black one here because I just like that one. The dark five value because that just looks the best I think. And then I'm going to do my two value, I guess, here. And I'm going to leave that spot white. just smear it with my finger to blend it. Oh, I don't want to, if you accidentally blend your white section like I just did, just take your eraser and bring it back out. All right, and then there's my first section. That's the B and the L together. Blah. Forever and ever. And again, there's my other example. I've got two done on that one. Those two words are hope and rose. And these two words are life and blue. All right, my guys at home, are there any general questions for this alternate, appoint, um, alternate project? Again, you don't have to do this if you are doing this. It's up to you. I just wanted to introduce another assignment because um, some people were just, just not happy with their first project. All right. Um, let's see here. What did Nick say? Nick, let me go back to you. Um, 
Yes, Nick, exactly. You mix the letters together. Um, Colby, just do the best that you can with a pencil. Yeah, you probably will only get like three values with a regular pencil. But yes, exactly. Nick, you're mixing the letters together. So in this row, it would be L, 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 I, L, F, and then L, E. In this one, it'll be U, L, U, I, U, F, and U, E. And then here, E, L, E, I, E, F, E, E. That's okay, Goldie. All right, guys. Um, does anyone want to show me their what they got so far? All right. Well, my guys at home, I officially dismiss you. Um, I'll stay on the chat after lunch. Have a great day. Oh, I like Fire and Star. Firestar is my favorite superhero, Colby. Firestar from Spider-Man and Friends, back in the day. You should do Firestar. Now I wish I would have done Firestar. <laughs> it's okay.